The story of my life unfolded during the summer season. My wife and I were planning to take a vacation, but we had not decided on a place of rest. I suggested going to my relatives, as there was a river and a beautiful forest nearby, and it was completely free to relax. I doubted the need to spend a lot of money for a vacation. However, my wife was not convinced. She always disliked my suggestions. She decided to call her friend Lillian and inquire about her vacation plans. The next morning, I left for work, leaving my wife at home. When I returned in the evening, she excitedly informed me that my wish had come true. We were going on vacation to her mother's house. I was thrilled at the prospect of saving money and having a nice vacation. Allison, my wife's mother, is a kind woman who looks younger than her 53 years. She used to work as a school teacher, but then due to downsizing, she switched to part-time work as a tutor. My father-in-law, a trucker, often goes on business trips, delivering various goods to different cities in America. He is characterized by a mild and calm nature. When everything was packed, we got into the car and went to their place. We got there quickly, but my wife scolded me for going to her mom's house instead of to the beach near the sea. She called me greedy, but I paid no attention to her complaints. I was glad to be near the river, especially since the weather was nice and relaxing. Their house was two stories high. When my mother-in-law saw us, she was happy and invited us into the house. We sat down at the table and drank coffee and cookies, talking about various topics. Later, the mother-in-law took us to the second floor and showed us the room where we would be staying. Feeling a little tired, I told my wife that I would take a shower before going to bed and go to bed. She went downstairs to chat with her mother. The next morning, my wife woke me up and told me to have breakfast and then go to the river to swim and sunbathe. I agreed, and on reaching the river, we found a suitable place, undressed, and decided to swim in the river. The first to enter the water was my wife, followed by my mother-in-law. I stayed behind, watching them both, especially my mother-in-law. I had not noticed before how beautiful her figure was. However, my wife interrupted my musings by urging me to join them in the water. I complied and went for a swim, and so wanted to watch my mother-in-law some more. The water was pleasantly warm, and we swam for a long time before heading out to sunbathe. Our vacation had already lasted three days, during which time I found myself admiring my already tanned mother-in-law more and more. I think she noticed my glances, and when our eyes met, she just smiled. On the fourth day of our stay, an unexpected event happened. We woke up as usual, had our morning coffee, and went to the river. Toward lunchtime, however, my wife started to get a headache. We quickly packed up and returned home. Once home, my wife took her medicine and lay down to rest while I sat in the kitchen while my mother-in-law prepared dinner. Watching her, I decided to get something to drink from the refrigerator. As I walked past my mother-in-law, I inadvertently touched her. She turned around, and it seemed to me that she was glad of the touch. Not knowing what came over me, I moved closer and put my hand on her waist. To my surprise, my mother-in-law didn't resist. Moreover, she seemed to want it. After checking to see if my wife was asleep, my mother-in-law turned back to me. She smiled, told me to lie down on the table, and what followed was an unexpected but brief moment of passion. Despite its brevity, it became one of the most memorable of my life. I had in no way expected such skill from my mother-in-law. When I go home, I will fondly remember these precious moments spent with the most wonderful mother-in-law in the world.